you know how many stop signs you ran? How many red lights you ran? How many people you endangered? Did you see the car? Front wheels falling off. We were going southbound and we actually saw the vehicle going northbound. Uh, so we had to flip around on it. It was a white Chevy Malibu that was involved in a carjacking the night before. As soon as we caught up, our lights and sirens were on. And at that point they accelerated instead of pulling over. So that's when we gave chase. Yankee 21 in pursuit of an armed 215 vehicle. Southbound American from Church. It's going to be a white Chevy Impala, Nevada plates. No pedestrian traffic. And we'd been following the vehicle for several minutes. Um, it was clear that he was not going to stop. He was known to have a gun. It had been reported that he was firing off several rounds a couple weeks before. Um, he has a propensity for violence. So at that point, we needed to disable his vehicle. Pull over. Pull North over. Lincoln. Speeds at 35. Turns again. I'm gonna ram him. All right. Legal intervention used at uh, 7th and Lincoln. Still going. Still going. After we rammed the car, um, it our car had some damage, um, it was smoking, it was leaking, and then I felt the brake pressure start to go. As I tried to apply the brakes, I was applying them as much pressure as I could, and basically I wasn't getting any stopping power. So at that point, I knew that there was a second unit behind me, and I just had that, that unit take over. I just took it out. Are you 96? No no harm at all, no harm, no harm, no harm. Um, no harm, sir. No harm, sir. Uh, Ponzo. Uh, yeah, he was basically saying he had just panicked. He knew he knew that he was putting people in danger by running. He knew all of that, but he was just he was just scared and basically lost control of himself and panicked. When I'm like in a panic, I'm known to make bad decisions. I panic. You know, it's like, like, what am I gonna do? Like. I should have stopped. I should have stopped, but I didn't. Did you, did you feel us hit you way back in the city? Uh, the first time we hit you? And I was, I was just, the adrenaline was going. I didn't feel nothing. I was just okay. panicking. I was, and then, really, I was really, I was really panicking. What were you thinking right here when you got hit right here, by I, the police I, car? I thought I was going to flip over because I, I see my whole back end go over. I go, went over the truck. I said, oh, I'll man. give it to you. I mean, you can drive. It's added charges that, that didn't need to be there. Um, you know, he was just going to face the carjacking charge, and now he's going to face pursuit charges and, and felony evading charges. It's definitely a scary moment. You know, you're driving on highways and, and roads at high speeds, making fast turns, making sure that no one else is put in danger. But I don't think it could have gone any better. Sit down. Hey, kid, you got my knee jam. Get Back up. up. Back Sit up. Down Back up and I will comply. Calm down. Back up and I will comply. What does that even mean? If you're back up, I can stand back and get my knee unfolded. Can you relax? Ah! Ah! 